So here we are guys, we've got the brand new TBS Mambo right here and before we do anything, what we're going to actually do, we're going to connect it up to the computer, we're going to use TBS's software which is um, Agent X and we're going to update the firmware on the controller. There's two bits of firmware we're going to update, the actual Mambo uh, controller itself and the um, software, the tracer software inside or the module if you prefer. So two things to update in this, we're going to do that right now. So here is the actual TBS Agent X. I will leave a link where you can download this direct from their site. It's absolutely free. Here's a login screen. You can sign up and register, make an account if you want to, or if you do prefer, you can just skip it. Here is my Mambo. Let me plug this in. Power on. Welcome to Mambo. You get these options here, use the wheel, actually select agent, press the wheel again, and you're ready to go. It's come up on the actual Agent X application here, and this is the Mambo, this is the Tracer, and we are going to select the settings of the Mambo over to the firmware, and there is a current version here, which is 1.30, and just press the update. Press update again, and that will run through the update. Welcome to Mambo. At this point, just to actually point out, the Mambo unit actually restarts and it comes up with this menu again. I would just leave it alone. Don't touch it at this point. There you go, 100% updated, all done. Now on this, I would actually scroll down and select the agent again, so you're still connected to the actual agent X. So go back to your devices, so this is the tracer unit, select the settings, over to firmware, and you can see there is an update here, and this is 6.07, so I'm going to update that one. Select the update, update at the bottom, and let it do its thing again. Welcome to Mambo. There we go, that has completed the update. So we've updated the actual Mambo itself and we've updated the tracer inside. So the two updates are all done. Now the actual nano receiver that we have in the quad, any update for this will actually be done automatically when we go through the binding process, which is the great thing about tracer crossfire, the whole system. It's the reason that everybody loves it, it's so easy, it's so great. So disconnect the controller and then we will look at the actual binding procedure. In the Mambo, when you start it up, it actually comes with a model already set and already in there. So we can actually use that one. And what we will do is we will press and hold the menu. This gets us over to the um, menu where we need to select TBS Agent Lite. Select that with the wheel. This is gonna look for things. Not at the moment, it's just the trace, what's inside, which is the trace, which is exactly what we want. We're going to Put a battery into the quad. So we've got the quad with the Tracer Nano inside. Please watch the other video if you haven't seen that. Plug in the quad. Select the Tracer. Tracer is the one you want. We've got the flashing green light on the actual uh, Nano in there, the Tracer Nano, because it is ready to be bound. Select the actual Tracer on here. Scroll down to bind press bind and then enter to execute and that is in progress update micro rx this is the great thing crossfire bambo tracer all the tbs stuff this just says update the rx we're going to update it Press the wheel, and we're going to leave it there, updating. So that is communicating with the receiver in there. It's going to update the two. They're going to be absolutely perfectly bound and synced and update and ready to go. TBS, another great job. So there you go. That is all perfectly bound. What you want to do is exit that menu, exit again, exit, 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 and you're done. Next things, we're going to get this connected up to Betaflight and have a look at that.
So now everything's all connected up and updated and everything like that, we're going to look at this um, pre-made model that actually comes installed already. We're going to have to change a couple of things. Well, I'm going to change a couple of things because I need to get my switches in the correct place. So I'm going to press menu once and this brings us over to the actual setup. We're going to then press page. We're going to keep on pressing page until we come to inputs. We need to put our switches into inputs. So we've already got some pre-installed in the mixers. So these are your actual stick controls. And these are your arm, beeper and your mode. Mode I don't actually want. I will be changing mode to um, flip over after crash. But the arm I want, if I select arm, it's got it on SA. So I will edit that by pressing and holding. All I'm going to do is scroll down to the switch. I'm going to press that switch and I want this top button here. And I'm just going to press it. So that's the one I want for my arm. Press exit, exit, exit. And that is done there. Momentary switch, press and hold, edit, scroll down, select it. I want it on that one. That's that's what I want for my momentary, for my beeper. So that'll be fine. Exit, exit, exit. Mode, press and hold. And I'm going to edit this just to make sure it's on the right one. Select that. I'm going to use that for my flip over after crash. And that changes to that switch. So we've just changed all those switches nice and quickly. Exit, exit, exit. So here we've got arm, beeper and mode. But mode for me is actually going to be flip over after crash. That's just what it's called. What we need to do is just match these up into the inputs, which is the page before. So press and hold page back to the inputs, scroll down. Press and hold, and we are going to call this one. Press that, and we're going to call this arm because this is going to match. Match arm, and scroll down again, select the source, select that, and it's that button there. That's all you have to do. Exit, 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 and you've got your arm matching SE arm. And then press and hold, SE arm. Scroll down. This one, press and hold again. This one's going to be beeper. We call it beep or B. Press that, and this is the button for beeper. Exit, exit, exit. And then if you go over, arm beeper and mode. So mode is on this switch here. So press and hold back. Press and hold. Click again. And we're going to call this mod. Scroll down to the source. Press. And it is this one. Exit, exit, exit. So we have just set up the switches that we actually want to use. So I want to use these two top ones and this one here, and that's all I use. If you wanted to use more of these switches, it's exactly the same process. Scroll down, you can add another one here. So you can add another channel there, name it, name it whatever you like. And then you can select the source by selecting, and say so you want that one, and it will change to that switch and carry on adding them exactly like that. Page back, exit even, sorry. And you just press and hold and delete it if you don't want it. So those are those three there. All our switches are set up now. So we've got our quad bound, got our switches exactly where we want them. Exit all of that. And if you even want to, press the menu button. And you can change the name to whatever you like. So now that's all done, let's have a look at Beta Flight. What we need to do now is we need to connect up the quad to Beta Flight. So plug in your quad. We will need some power because we need to see the actual um, receiver and what the sticks are doing. Make sure everything's connected. So power up. Telemetry recovered. 
So telemetry recovered, we've got the solid green light on the Nano there. That just confirmed telemetry recovered, which means it's all connected, everything's absolutely perfect. Over to beta flight, connect it up to beta flight. And what you're gonna have to do, I already have this set up, but the, the UART that you've connected your um, Nano to, mine is on your 2, or it's TX2 and RX2, and that means it's a UART 2. So you need to turn on Serial RX. If you've got it on number 3, you need number 3 on. If you've got it on number 4, you need number 4 on, etc, etc. Also, one other thing to point out, you'll need to go over to Configuration. And because this quad used to be in Crossfire anyway, I've already got it selected, but down to the receiver in Configuration, and this needs to be on CRSF. And this needs to be serial based, just like that. And that would be everything to get everything talking. Over to the receiver, and there you can see that everything seems to be working. But as normal, we have that spinning quad of death. So the quad is spinning around in this picture here, meaning the actual keys aren't, or sticks aren't in the correct location and we need to change these letters here. It's normally A, E, T and R for me, but it's obviously something different on this for some reason. And these letters need to be changed to this order, which is T, R, E and A. Press save. There, the quad's just stopped spinning. So check the sticks. Throttle is throttle, your is your, pitch is pitch, and roll is roll. So there we have everything in exactly the correct place. Quad stop spinning. So now that's all done, we will go over to the actual modes and we'll look at setting up these switches. So this is where it's actually got your switches set up already. I'm gonna delete all of these. And then we're gonna add a range for arm. And there, it should actually be that one already. There we go. So I want my arm switch in that position. And then we're going to add another one, unhide all the other ones. We're going to add a range for beeper. There you go. Hear it working instantly. And then we're going to find flip over after crash. is out of range and that is flip over after crash oops sorry wrong side need it over there no I was right need it over there sorry so I'm gonna fire all my switches up because then I'm not gonna knock anything so that's flip over just there there, all the switches are set. Press save. If you wanted the angle or the horizon, you add those on the switches that you created again in that menu. So unhide, and there you go. That is all my switches. Press save just in case I can't remember if I actually did it. So we've got the arm working. Red for danger, red means your props are spinning. No red means they're off. Beeper's working. Flip over after crash is working. So I've got everything I need actually up and running. So my quad is all set, bound, switches all in place, and everything should be working hunky-dory. So turn that off, and one way to check, go over to the motors, make sure your props are off for this, please. My props are off, sign my life away, and I will just arm my quad with my new Mambo radio. So that, is working absolutely perfectly. All bound, switches in place, everything set up, ready to go. There you go guys, we have just completed the setup of our Mambo radio, it is all bound to our quad, our switches are set up, everything is good and we are ready to go for some first flights. I'll be doing those first flights on a separate video, do watch out for those, make sure you hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, maybe even that bell notification so you don't miss those. See you on the next one guys. It's all or nothing.